Oh, right. It turns out that the Manjaro community is turning into a wellspring of ideas for me. This one came from a couple of folks on the new Manjaro forum, and they said, Hey, Spat, now that you've shown us uh, Octopi and Pamac, why don't you take a look at one of the command line uh, tools that we've made to make using um, Pac-Man and Yowart really easy? And I'm like, oh, I don't want to look at, you know, a command line application, but it turns out this one's pretty useful. We are looking at Packly right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. <laughs> All right, let's begin. I had to put up a special terminal for you guys, number one, so that it'll be easier for you guys to read the text. Number two, I have a drop-down terminal, and uh, as such, the, you know, the way I have this thing set up, the this uh, Pac-Man Yawork tool really isn't going to work that well uh, with this particular layout that I have. So, this is... And I wanted to do a bigger font anyway so that you guys could read what I have on the screen. This tool is ideal for those of you who maybe uh, maybe you did a net install and you just want a super lightweight package manager for your Manjaro box. Well, this is the program to get. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and install it. That is a sudo pacman. TAC, capital S, Packly, or is that Packly? Gosh, Packly, that sounds like some kind of medicine mom used to make me take when I was a kid and I had the flu or something. You better take your Packly or else you're not going to get any better. Oh. Okay, so now we have uh, Packly installed. There is an update notifier uh, which is available for this. I do not have that installed, obviously, because I have a PAMAC tray, and that gives me plenty of enough uh, notifications. This is just for demonstration purposes. And uh, you know what, kids? After playing with this, I think I'm going to keep this on the system just because it's a great little reminder. Uh, and I'll show you what I mean. We're going to run it, P-A-C-L-I, and now we've got a menu here. And the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to read the help file. Because you have a number of options that are readily available to you here, but you should never press the button unless you know what it does, right? You are going to read the documentation, aren't you? Remember, kids, Linux automatically assumes you know what you're doing anytime you're using the terminal. So always, always, always read the documentation. So let's hit 10 for help. And here we go. Uh, here's uh, Packley's help page. It tells you all about the home screen. Okay. Tells you what will happen when you press zero. That will clear an exit. Okay, then it's giving you some familiar looking commands here. And if you guys remember things like I do, you suffer from CRS, that means you can't remember stuff. Yeah, that's like, yeah, you can't remember stuff. Oh, I almost slipped up there, didn't I? All right, but uh, you have some familiar commands like uh, sudo pacman swayu. S-Y-U. That means to update the system. Well, I usually run it with two Ys. Okay, and then there's a clean system command here where it's going to run a series of commands. It's going to run Pac-Man Mirrors. It's going to run uh, Pac-Man Sci-I. It's going to run uh, Yaourt QDT, which is basically going to clear out all the orphan packages out of your system. Then it's going to run another command that is going to clean packages from cache that you no longer have on your system. And then it's going to remove any packages with the exception of the package that's already installed and the version before it. So if you ever need to downgrade a package, you can do that. And this has a downgrade utility built in. 
Okay, you also have Pac-Man optimization in here as well. Okay, you can also, now some of these aren't really all that intuitive at all, like the install package. I'll show you these in a minute. Some of these aren't intuitive because you have to scroll through a long list when it's easier just to go, yeah, what it is you're looking for. You, you'll see what I mean, though. So basically, you can install packages, remove packages, plus dependencies. You can get package information, list local package files, dependency trees, reverse dependency trees, defragmenting the database, help, downgrading packages, the Pac-Man log. Oh, here's the perfect one right here. Fixing errors. I am going to copy this text and I'm going to post it on my forum at cupoflinux.com. Because, well, geez, I have this up on my form in 50 different places, and people still don't bother to read it. I swear I'm going to tattoo these commands on people's foreheads if they don't take the time to read this. But I actually ran this, the fix errors command, and it does everything that it's going to do, It that it says it's going to do. It's going to remove the database lock. It's going to update your mirrors, and then uh, it's going to uh, update... Uh, the databases. It's going to uh, run the, uh, GNU G the GNU PG and GNU PG Arx Linux key rings and Manjaro key rings and Pac-Man keys. It's going to fix all that stuff. All right, and this is a big problem, especially for you people that are too lazy to update your system regularly and you're having those uh, key ring problems. Yeah. Well, this thing fixes it. And I actually ran it, and it worked. I couldn't believe it. All right, you also have an option to configure Pac-Man. It'll open up Nano, and then you can go in and you can add stuff to uh, your Pac-Man configuration file. Force install package, force update system, force remove package, empty package cache. I never do that one. I will do Yower SC, but not SCC. Because at least the Yower SC will leave the package you have installed in, the, in there and then remove all the others. But, um, yeah, I, I don't... But that's because I know my packages are working. Okay, you have uh, Update AUR, which is uh, Yower Swayua. All right, and then you have uh, the Swayua Devel, no confirm. And that forces updates. So basically, that's just basically recompiling everything, whether it needs to be updated or not. I've done that a few times. You better pack a lunch, especially if you have a lot of packages, if you're going to do that one. All right, you can search and install from the AUR. Personally, I prefer Yowart for this, rather than having to use this menu. But, I mean, it's convenient. It's here, in case you need it. Okay, you can uh, uh, list items that you have installed, uh, from the AUR, and you can also configure Yowart with this thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and press Q, and that brings us to the menu. All right, and you paid close attention as I explained what all these does, right? Very good, I hope you did, because if you didn't, back up and start all over again. So basically, um, one will update the system. Okay, it'll ask you for your password. Starting full system upgrade, your system's up to date. Yeah. Okay, you can clean your system. I already did some of these earlier, so I'm not going to do them again. Um, you can install a package. I'm, gonna, I'm telling you, this one is not very intuitive at all, because basically, you're going to go through this entire list and read through all this. I'd much rather use Yowart for that. Let's escape out of this, press Enter, because really... Um, We'll get to Yowart in a minute, because I use Yowart for searching. Okay, you can list local package files. Okay, and these are all the package packages that you have in your var pacman cache directory. Okay? All right, you can defragment your database. I've done this already, and basically what it does is it gets a uh, MD5 sum of your uh, database for your packages... I believe, and then uh, what it does is it creates a new database file, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's what it is. You know, basically speeds things up for you. 
Okay, the help file, we already looked at that. 11 is to downgrade packages. So if you ever upload, a, if you ever update a package, or you, you do a full system update, and then all of a sudden, okay, in my case, Kadian Live stops working. It's borked. Boom, gone. Well, then I can downgrade to an earlier package if I didn't run Pac-Man SEC. <laughs> Delete the backup. So you can downgrade packages. That's a good one. And then, of course, you have the Pac-Man log. Let's look at that. Okay, and then basically you can just scroll up here and it'll give you all the information on stuff that you've done. Uh, do you think I'm going to sit here and read through this? Not right now, I'm not. <laughs> okay, I already talked about fixing errors. That's 13. I'm not going to run it, but I did it just before filming to confirm that it works. And uh, I didn't have any problems with uh, installing any packages. So this just in that just in of itself is a godsend. So I'm going to make sure that. Um, yeah, uh, I, I, I think what I what I might just end up doing is maybe even keeping a copy of this lying around somewhere uh, so people can, uh, you know, run Pac-Man U to install this. Just so that they have something that'll quickly fix errors, or maybe I'll just copy the file. We'll see. All right, you can configure Pac-Man. That's 14. All right, and press Enter. It opens up Nano, and then from here you can go in and you can uh, do stuff. So let's say uh, I want to install Emerald uh, from Git, and I don't want to be spammed by the system to update to. Um, 0 0.9 of Emerald. I can put that in there. Uh, Control X to exit Y and then enter to save it. And it's done. All right. You can make other changes to Pac Man configuration. It's there. Um, don't edit Pac Man Conf if you don't know what you're doing. Okay. All right. Good deal. All right. You can, inf you can force the installation of a package. You can force update. Of the system. You can force remove packages or empty package cache. Now, something to keep in mind. These red items can potentially damage the system. I went and I read through what um, number 13 is going to do before I ran it, so I knew exactly. But the you know, and then of course, configuring Pac-Man. I know how to configure Pac-Man Conf. But 15 through 18 here, if you don't know what you're doing with these, don't mess with this, please. I don't want to have to be answering questions. Oh, well, I went and I forced remove the package. Yes, you can break your system because if you force the removal of a package and there are underlying dependencies that are still lingering in the system, you're going to have a broken system. Let's face it. Okay. Uh, this is something I really don't have a need to do because obviously I have PAMAC tray, but um, you can run update AUR and that will update any packages from the AUR that need updating. Force update AUR is indicated earlier before uh, number 20. Um, this one is going to download every single package build and it's going to recompile them whether there's an update for them or not. That's what that does. 21, search and install from the AUR. So basically, you're going to search for a package, and then it's just going to automatically install it. I like to have control over what's happening, because 5% of the packages you're going to install from the AUR uh, are going to be broken, and they're not going to build. So rather than using option 21, I would much rather go with option 22. Okay, all right, and then select packages to install. Do you really think I'm going to go through this entire list? I don't think so. All right, you can list packages installed from the AUR. Okay, and as you can see, I have a lot of them in here. All right. Okay, and then we can configure Yowert. And you can see, I have all kinds of stuff in here. <laughs> okay, let's press zero to exit. 
Okay, and then we're back here. Now, if I really want to install something from Yowart, I'll just search for it. Okay. All right. And for instance, I did a search for Vivaldi. I tried out the Vivaldi browser the other day. I have it installed, but it's still not my default browser because, well, it needs some work still. But um, it's good to have another option anyway. So um, you pick the package you want. You put the number in. I like this idea better than having to pick from a list. With a smaller font, this package manager certainly would be ideal for maybe somebody who's relatively, you know, um, new, um, or, you know, who's using a tiling window manager, or maybe just somebody um, that just tends to forget what all the commands are for Pac-Man. You just don't use them every day. You don't remember them. You know, this is a pretty handy utility. It's got some pretty cool things that it does. So, um... I want to thank the guys on the Manjaro forum who suggested that I have a look at this. I initially had a look at it, and I'm like, hmm, I don't know if I want to use something like this. And it turns out there are some useful features in here. And so I'm going to keep this lying around, and especially the fix errors thing that is here. Um, I'm, definitely, uh, I'm definitely going to take the information from this and uh, uh, update my forum posts, because that... The, the things that this fixes, these are the number one errors that most people have with Manjaro, especially if they haven't updated their system regularly. So uh, I'm definitely going to use the information from that one. That in its uh, alone is worth the price of this software. So um, it's 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 the best it's the best command line package manager for Manjaro that you never heard of until now. So get your copy of Packly and uh, enjoy it, huh? Well, that's all I have for now. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to be doing next, but I'm sure the Man somebody in the Manjaro forums are probably going to suggest something really cool for me to have a look at. Uh, so uh, until next time, peace out! Mm -hmm.